Here's something I never imagined to be doing, walking in the marathon. Okay, so here we go, just said goodbye to Meg back there. Just walking now down to the start line with all the other runners. There's thousands and thousands of people. Just need to find a, a port loo go to the toilet, and then I'll be ready to go in about uh, 45 minutes. Exciting stuff. Making my way to the start line. Um, bit difficult to like, gather like where you have to go. Ben's gone through um, to get to the start line and yeah hopefully I'll see him like on the first two kilometers straight and then I'm gonna try and get to like 11 then hopefully 25 and it'll probably have to Hello there. at the end to be honest um, yeah see how it goes so I think I got a good uh, starting position to see Ben in like the first one 1k. The starting line is just down there. 15 minutes ago, he must be like getting into his pen and lining up now, so yeah. So I just made it in to our start pen, We've got about 20 minutes to go. Look who I found here, Whee! Mr. Welsh <laughs> Runner. Make sure you go check out his video from today. He's also, he's also got the little camera with you. Yeah, I got yeah. the camera. So he'll be filming it from his perspective as well. It'll probably stay in the pocket to be honest. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> as soon as I get the start and then back pocket. Um, yeah. Yes, man, thank you. But we're ready to rock. Yeah, we're feeling good. Let's do this. All good to go. Perfect all conditions. In. Let's go all in. Exactly. So here we go. Ten minutes till the start. We've got Matt Sweatily with me here. He's going out a little bit faster. All the elites are warming up just over there. So many people already. Bon dia, Valencia. Benvinguts. So before we jump into this marathon story, first a quick word from the sponsors of this video. So I've been using Sore Runnings Apparel throughout this 10 week training block and I'll be racing in their specific marathon race system. The standout piece of kit for me has been the marathon shorts that can comfortably carry six gels due to their clever design. The race singlet is also incredibly lightweight, comfortable and is of the highest quality. The second sponsor of this series and today's video is Kouros and I've been using the Pace 2, the watch of Elliot Kipchoge, the greatest marathoner of all time and it offers a sophisticated yet simple functionality, unrivaled accuracy and 25 hours of battery life in GPS mode. To find out more about the sponsors of this video then please visit the top line of this video's description. Last minute. Right on the start line, just there. About five or six people back. Watch as they're ready. Here we go. So just caught the elite wave um, starting. It was around this roundabout. And what I didn't realise is they split into two around the roundabout and then join over there. So I think um, the next category will start running, but I'm gonna head to, uh, I don't think I'll be able to get to 11 in time, but 18. Take me half an hour and Ben will be there 
hopefully in an hour. Also have no idea if I got a bed then. No clue, I didn't see him at all. I didn't see him at Copenhagen either, but hopefully we'll see him at kilometer eight. Just went through the 5k in 1620, so 20 seconds quick. We need to get this under control. Guys, I know I've said this before, but it really is knackering for my marathon. <laughs> no, it is, it's such a good way though. If anyone that comes to just watch a marathon into a new city, it's such a good way to see things because you just have to walk around. That's really great. But feeling nervous, like, I don't know if any other partners get this, but I always feel so sick at the like start. And then just like tracking, making sure he's getting what he wants. Um, but yeah, on my way, five minutes away from kilometer. Hopefully I'm gonna make it to see him at kilometer 11 and 18. I made it to kilometer 11 and I think the elites are just come out of the club. I think he came through 11k, like spot on, I think, um, my calculations. But yeah, he was looking strong. He was with Doug, Dougie, the guy we met yesterday. He was really nice. Um, so hopefully he can stay with them. And then they'll be coming back round there. They were just there. And now they're gonna be coming back round here at 18k. Let's go, Ben. pure sport that bottle was well and truly lost <laughs> i tried to find it but i think someone might have pinched it but on my way to kilometer 25 so i just got a notification on my phone from the app saying that ben has just gone well i don't know if just gone through but he's gone through the 20 kilometer point at one hour six minutes so pretty good it's getting uh, warmer and sunnier now So 28k into the race, it's not my day today, stomach is playing up from about 18k which is yeah, a bit of a shame, I was feeling quite good, probably went off a little bit fast, but now I'm just going to enjoy it, get this done, enjoy Valencia. Here's something I never imagined to be doing, walking in the marathon, stomach is just, even, even at like 4 minutes of k pace it's playing up, but we'll get going in a minute, I'm going to finish this off, we're at 28.84k. Let's keep going. Come on. Woo. 5k to go. Woo. Marathon's a hell of a long way when you blow up at 18k. Ah, come on. Cheers, man. Keep going. Last 5k. My race is over. Never mind, There's plenty more other marathons. Looking forward to that blue carpet though. Won't be long now. 
in between 41 and 42 right now um, all the like elites are coming through now but I decided to come here just so like it's going to be really busy at the end and Ben will have his camera um, but yeah it's exciting Um, I think he struggled a little bit, I think he was like 20 minutes behind, um, so I'm off to the finish line to find him now, but such an amazing achievement, so excited to see him. There we go, amazing television carpet. <laughs> finish line. Not quite 220, but we gave it a good go. 237 on the cut. Here we go. There we go. Job done. 237. Have some of that. <laughs> we reunited and where were we when we were reunited in starbucks very exciting we need to keep this under a minute i feel like i should take <laughs> so we're reunited again got back together after meeting at the finish line i didn't have my phone so we agreed to meet at the starbucks which is a pretty sensible yeah. decision we've learned our lesson we otherwise i really don't know, think we would have found each other no. it was really like busy and messy at the finish line to be honest yeah overall the race went all right i had a uh, stomach issues at about 18k and i had to walk a little bit at 20k um so i knew from that point it was it was sort of the, the 220 project if you like wasn't on um i gave it my best to sort of like keep going and try and pb but it's about probably another two or three k later i realized that was not gonna gonna happen no matter how um fast i was running the stomach was still hurting um i think it was not due to fueling it was actually because i just went off too fast at the beginning because you had a similar thing in like for the ultra mass in the SPP, yeah. like two whenever it was a year ago or something yeah. So I thought maybe it's like the gels and stuff, but you think you went off a little bit yeah, too fast. Yeah, too fast. It, I mean, it was a little bit too yeah, fast, definitely. wasn't it? <laughs> First 5k. So we settled down in the, in the second 5k, but I think the damage is already done. If you go too fast, it's always going to come back and, and bite you. So uh, yeah, lessons learned. I'll yeah. give it another crack yeah. um, pretty soon, actually. I've got a marathon in February. Um, which is exciting. I can't Very can't exciting. disclose where that is going to be yet. Um, but yeah, we'll have another go. Yeah. We'll have a bite of the cherry, as and they it, say. It was so much fun to like watch. It was, Valencia is a great place. Mm. Like you were saying, perfect conditions. Like weather was great. Yeah. Like everything was lovely. Um, and it's really nice. The app was like playing up a bit, so I couldn't yeah. track you properly. But managed to see him like five times. Which yeah, you is did really great. Good. So it is a good, really good one to watch. Mm. And you just have to take what you can from it. Like you just take that you've got another one and it's all about like going forward and learning what, what yeah. you can do different and also you've only done two marathons so it's like yeah still very much learning um, uh, yeah like people's marathon careers are like just like this aren't they mm. over a 10 year span so you're so early on and it's just learning how to yeah do it <laughs> Other than that, there'll be a race recap coming out this week as well. I'll talk you through how the race went, um, go through each sort of 5k split, 
Um, Sweet. Yeah, literally, it was great until 18k and then I fell off a cliff. So that is it for today's race day vlog, Valencia 2022. Until next time, aspire to run, run to inspire, and we'll see you again soon.